So I have exactly one hour with the most expensive camera setup I have ever tried. And the challenge is to see what I can capture during this time frame. So since it's midday and not 4 a.m. in the morning, I can cross off deer, moose and other mammals from the list, leaving me with only one category of creatures left, the birds. So start the timer of one hour right now. Let's go. The thing is, it's not that heavy that I expected. I'm pretty surprised how, how like good it feels and honestly this <laughs> this will not end well because this will end in me buying this thing for quite a lot of money that <laughs> I don't have. My game plan to start with is to get down to this garden here where I know there are fruit trees and other stuff small birds like. I think that's my best chance to start with. We have sheep. Nice. So I just saw a large birds of prey perching in this tree a couple hundred meters from here, but I think it's a common buzzard. <laughs> this lens is so sharp. Wow, that's actually insane. I wonder if we can get up to the road where he's sitting. Maybe the large road can help me because it might not. He's still sitting there. Okay, the, the 30 frames per second is crazy. <laughs> That's actually pretty insane. Two. Oh, there's the cheap. Okay, let's take a shot of him. You might be wondering why I have this lens and where I'm at. So Sony was kind to invite me and a bunch of other photographers and creators to their Kando event in Stockholm. So it's been great to meet all these talented people, but also very fun to be able to borrow whatever gear we want to try out. What a time. I think the best way to photograph birds in a garden like this is to obviously just sit and wait until something appears because it's a lot easier to, to see if something is moving when you just sit down quietly. Photographing birds and animals takes time, and doing it on a time limit is not ideal. I decided to just wait by the trees here, and I burned almost 15 minutes without getting a single shot. So I had to rethink. So there is a blackbird eating apples in this tree. This sign here. We're gonna try out the sharpness of this little bad boy. It's so sharp. This is insane. This is so sweet, like a bonum. So you can either take it whole or you take it... Okay. Mm. I tested the whole. Yeah, it's good to do it. Oh, it was good, man. It gives me a little bit of hard shit. Exactly. What are you doing? You have a time limit and you're eating flowers. Come on. <laughs> oh, and thank you for the small problem. So I thought I wanted to wait here and just sit and wait, but I don't have time because I want to photograph as much as possible during this hour. So uh, I think I'm gonna just walk around and focus on maybe something else than birds, and then they will come to me. Hopefully, that's usually how it, how it works. Like when you stop trying, you get you get the encounters. So let's focus on something else. What can we shoot? There's a forest up here. It would be pretty fun to, to go down to the water. And just as I said, when you stop trying, you get the encounters. So I have the camera ready with a fast shutter speed. 
and I'm just waiting for the bird to move. He really did like to sit there. <laughs> Might be the time when the, the ADV is coming. Come on, let's go. He didn't care about it. <laughs> what the hell is this? I guess he feels safe there. Good to know. But he's been sitting for, I think it's five or six minutes now. <laughs> I'm trying to move myself a little bit upwards here. No. And yes, I missed it. So cute. It doesn't care at all. <laughs> I can just walk here though. So. How does it feel? Motion sick. <laughs> <laughs> How's that squat going there? Uh, it's good. I'm trying to see on the uh, screen what I'm editing. <laughs> <laughs> if you come here, you yeah. have a small lens, bigger, and then the biggest. Ah, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Which lens do you have? 200-600. Ah, that's a great lens. And what do we have here? 400. The 400, 2.8. And then we have the 600. That's like the... The dream setup right here, all those three. <laughs> I kind of lost focus for a bit, but that's how it is when you're with good friends and just having fun. So I guess it's okay. With only two minutes left before returning the lens, I got to photograph one of the most rare photos I've ever taken. Just kidding. But I guess we should appreciate them too. Well, time to say goodbye. I have a beer and uh, life's pretty good. So the 600 is back. I'm going home tomorrow with the thought that I want to buy a 600 millimeter lens, <laughs> but it's the price of a freaking house. So <laughs> it's probably not gonna happen, but uh, the 200 to 600 is still an amazing lens. So to sum things up, do you need a 600 millimeter lens and Sony A1 to get good photos? Definitely not. Like, like you saw, I found like four birds today and it was in the middle of the day and it's not about the gear in the end it's about be at the right time at the right spot and know what you do and know your gear really well so let's be honest who can pay that amount of money for lens like that if you don't like work with wildlife photography don't feel the need to spend all this money get better at finding wildlife continue to do that because that's free most of the times and uh yeah with those words i'll end this video bye mm -hmm.